So I think I figured out how we're going to solve the tie scenario. But in the meantime, let's eliminate the chance of a tie. Logically, this is highly unfair. This says if the difference is greater than zero, player zero gets the cards. If the difference is negative or zero, player one gets the cards. So that means in the case of a tie, player one's going to receive the cards. That's not fair. Um, but it'll at least allow us to run the code and see if what we have in here works so far. Now notice there's no print statements here whatsoever. So if we want to actually see something interesting, let's see, and it looks like we're stuck in a loop. That's not great. I would assume somebody would have won by now. All right, so we're stuck in a loop. And without a print statement, we can't actually see what is making us stuck. One way to figure this out is to debug the code so I can add a breakpoint. I'd probably put it right at the while loop uh, and then I would run it in debug mode. Uh, what we're gonna do instead is we're going to put some print statements in. So first thing I want to do is make sure that the actual piles are okay. One thing pile does not have is a two string method. So let's go ahead and write the two string. So there's a public string, two string. All right, so result equals, let's start out with a left bracket and we're gonna return at the end results plus and we'll finish it with a right bracket. And I wanna do basically a for each card, which good news is we have the for each right here on the screen. And instead of adding a card, we want to do results plus equals. And again, that's result equals result concatenated. I want to put the card, what's wrong with this? Card in cards, there we go. Result equals result plus card dot to string. Okay. And I do want to add an extra space to that so it'll be spaced out nicely. And then it will cap it off with a square bracket. And so now I have the two string. And we can add the override annotation is fine. So now I can print out piles. So we'll go P0 plus P0. And this plus P0, it's going to concatenate P0, which automatically calls the two string method. And we're going to do the same thing with P1. All right, so here we go. We can see P0 and P1. So at least it looks like it broke them up into even, I'm assuming that's 26, uh, but I'm too lazy to count. It does look like 26. Well, I'll highlight 13, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That looks about halfway. Okay, so it does look like it broke it into two. That's good. We're gonna stop it. I'm gonna to wanna to look at these piles very frequently. So I think it would be smart to put them in their own method. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna, I now am gonna to need to access P0 and P1 other places. So let's decide, I'll call it display. P0, P1. All right, so this method doesn't exist. Create method. And cut these, control X. We're gonna go down to display. And P1. 
paste in that code. So it'll just print out P0 and P1. Okay. Now I can put this code wherever I want. And let's go ahead, we'll put it, where should we put it? I'd also like to see the C0 and C1 as well. This else statement should never be running. So I'm just gonna put error. If we see error, we know that this is running and it shouldn't be. So I guess we'll just go right at the end of the while statement, which I think will be right there. So here is where I'm gonna put the display. All right. So it looks like they're not changing size very much. And I'm gonna do another sout just to get a, a new line in here. They are changing, but they're not changing much. So let's hit the stop button and look and see what's happening here. This is weird, P0, P1, P0, P0. I won't be able to scroll back through this. It'll take too long, so I'll just stop it quick. Oh, come on. Okay, so we started here, P0, P1. Now, we removed the first card, so the J, jack of spades and the two of spades and if you look here's the jack of spades and two of spades that got added on to p0 which card won when we compared the jack and the two the jack was bigger which means p0 won and that's why it got the jack and the two uh, and then you see that the next card would be a two of clubs which moves to position zero the next card for player one is the ace of hearts, which moves to position zero. Okay. So next what happens, it's gonna compare the two and the ace. So this is actually very close, but the ace loses right there. So the two wins, so player zero gets the two and the ace added at the end. And then it should be the six and the seven are the next cards up, six and the seven. All right, so who wins in this case? The six is less than the seven, so player one wins. So player one gets the six and the seven. So you see them right there, which is after the ace of diamonds. All right, so it seems like it's going okay. And as I scroll, you can kind of see the letters shift to the left, and then the new ones get added on two at a time. All right, so what's happening here, we can look at some other ones for comparison. Let's look at this, the three and the eight. The eight should win, so player one should win, and after their jack of clubs, they should receive the three and the eight. So here's their last old last jack of clubs. Here's the new three and eight, they just won. And then player zero didn't win anything, so their K and six are the last two. So it actually looks like it's working. So what is happening here? Well, what I think is happening is the reason I never play war, which is because nobody ever really wins. I'm thinking player one should win because uh, we, <laughs> we said if there's a tie, player one gets it. Uh, so I'm just gonna let this run for a while. I can see somebody's running low on cards, but not low enough. If I eliminated the print statements, this, this would run a little faster. This is why you should never play war. And it's basically just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I have a feeling that this is accurate what we can do, instead of each player starting with 26 cards, we can have each player start with three cards. I think that would be much more reasonable because I, 
As far as I can tell, the code looks like it's working, except for the tie. Wow. All right, if you've never played War, consider yourself lucky, because this is pretty much every game of War is uh, one where I just give up after 10 minutes. All right, so how do I give each player less cards? Well, here's where we subdecked. I went 0 to length over 2. Let's just reorder this right here. As long as I make the piles before I fill them, it's fine. So let's go duplicate these two. I'm going to hard code in numbers now, which I know I said not to do, but we're doing it. And now you see the big advantage of using exclusively the end values. Uh, and so it's super clear I'm going from zero to three. So there'll be three elements in here. If you subtract three minus zero is three. And then I start at three, go up to six, subtract them is three. So each player is gonna get three cards. I really hope this goes fast and somebody wins. What is happening? Zero and P1, hmm. Ah, I added the deck twice. That's not good. All right, so I did the add deck up here with the full half deck. Now, I only do the add deck from zero to three and three to six. So this should hopefully, boom. Ah, oh, that makes me happy. All right, so. We can analyze this, three and a king. Player one wins with the king, so they get the three and the king. Uh, then it's the eight and the 10. The 10 wins, uh-oh. Uh, so this player one just cleaned up right here. Let's run this a few more times. Even with three cards, this game can go way too long. I think there is a sequence that this actually goes forever. Uh, and even with three cards, we're seeing that's possible. Oh boy. All right, I think it's about as good as it's gonna get for the game of war. Uh, I don't think it's even worth going back and, and making the tie work. I have no intention of building the game of war. It's a miserable game uh, and, and I'll be happy to not think about this game anymore. Uh, the reason the book does it is because it's a very easy game to code. You just compare top cards and that's it. There's no decision to make. Okay, let's move on from the game of war.